made it to the weekend. Friday is here and it's time to make those plans for Saturday and Sunday. If you're planning to make that drive down to Pearland to visit the puttery, a dessert shop that's gone viral, you might want to double check to see if they're open before heading down there. Here to talk about the Keith Lee effect is our digital producer, Brittany Taylor. Good morning, Brittany. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thanks. This is just wild. I, I Before we start this conversation, I want to show you this picture that you know all about. Okay. But it says we are closed until Saturday. <sighs> Keith Lee effect. What is going on? Okay, so I took this photo and I was truly disappointed because I was looking forward to <laughs> right. tasting the banana pudding. You, you drove down to Pearland. I drove all the way to Pearland, so excited, and I got hit with this photo. And basically, I was like, where is everyone? And then other customers were coming up saying they drove an hour and a half oh, just my to come here for lunch. And it's all because of Keith Lee. It's all because of Keith Lee. And the sign even says, like, this is the Keith Lee effect. So I did my research because I'm like, where is the owner? Where? Why is it not open? So come to find out that the owner said that she was having chest pains. It was a one woman show. So the shop was, you know, she said that she was struggling for business. So she was the only person that's there and she didn't have any employees. So when she got all of this like attention, it was just her. Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Um, thankfully that people from the community came in and volunteered Aww. to help her for free. Oh, that's amazing. Um, so now that business has taken off, she's able to get help, but she got to take care of her health first yeah so she had to get her chest you know checked out and everything mm. and then now she's saying that she wants to be prepared for Saturday and the weekend for all the customers so that she's are been cleared she's recovering well she's feeling yes. good fingers crossed fingers crossed okay. fingers crossed so you guys take it easy on her make sure you have a lot of patience <laughs> right you know, it's well worth it I may sneak up there myself but what we want people to do is to take photos yes and send them in to us we want to click see two the pins line. click two pins okay. on our website click to houston.com slash click two pins where you can upload any video or photos of the line your banana pudding say, oh, that you know just tag so us good. we want to see your photos oh that sounds so tasty <laughs> yes. right about now um yes. <laughs> question for you through your research did you find out how keith lee uh, got turned on to places like the puttery how's he finding these locations so thankfully the customers have helped out a lot of these mm. businesses where they tag him and constantly tagging uh, him okay. word of their, mouth yeah word of mouth but also with this business she was actually tagging Tagging him, making videos and promos. Soliciting him, trying to get yeah, him down there. Get, and yeah. she caught his attention. And she's wow. like, hey, I need your help. We only get like two customers a day. And now the line is like wrapped around the corner because of the Keith Lee effect. So, That's really neat. Yeah. I know you've also had the opportunity to talk to owners of re other restaurants featured uh, by Keith Lee. What are they saying? <laughs> so I've only visited um, the Cool Runnings. And then, of course, I tried the Puttery. But the Cool Runnings, um, I talked to the owner and she was saying that she didn't even know like who Keith Lee was. It was thankfully the customers who tagged him and told him about this place. And she was like, you know, she's very thankful that he gave a significant amount of tip for them because um, they experienced a theft recently. Someone mm. stole money mm. from their tip jar. So he was like, okay, I'll triple whatever was stolen. So I think it was about 50 to $60 in the tip jar and he tipped them $1,000 wow. instead. And then another 500 for everyone that's in line. He paid for everybody's food. So he's very, very um, giving wow. <laughs> when he visit these places. Yeah, and tis the yeah. season. You know, it's so amazing to see community come together in ways to help one another, but certainly, uh, the Keith Lee effect is like no other. Yes, yes. This is just wild. For people not familiar with who Keith Lee is, I remember the first time I think you and I were chatting about him. I yes. was like, I have no idea who this man is. <laughs> Tell us who he is. Okay, so he was a former MMA fighter. He's a family man, a Christian man. Um, he really pours back into the community. He started blowing up on TikTok. Um, he was known when he's kind of contributed to the Chipotle rave where he helped kind of that I don't know if you remember the quesadilla thing yes. that blew up, and so he was the one that kind of got uh, took. This was a, this was a while ago. This, this was, was a minute ago. This was a while ago. ago. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. where his social media growth. Mm. He also started off trying his wife pregnancy when cravings. she was pregnant, right? Yes, and that's what kind of took him off, and then he started making an impact. And everyone, he's really been impactful for a lot of small struggling businesses yeah. in like 
food truck owner, so they've been really grateful for his reviews and helping them out. And he's not lying. Like I tried Cool Runnings and that stew chicken. I think it's stew chicken. They <laughs> look. Don't. I'm not familiar with Jamaican food, but I think it's stew chicken. Please don't hate me for it. But it was really, really good. And I'm like, okay, he's not lying. He's not lying. He knows a he thing knows. or two. Yeah. And this is not the first influencer that has come here and tried out foods. We had Mr. Chime Time, who didn't take it easy on us and our barbecue scene it was pretty it was pretty intense but people respected his honest reviews okay yeah. okay and that, and that's all you can do right that's all you can do yeah you don't yeah. want to be misled uh what's next for mr keith lee well he is on a food tour so he's oh, okay. going to different... so he's making this like his yeah. his priority yes. his number one he, yes. show. this yeah. is this is where his bread and butter is yeah. and um he's helping on a lot of business across the united states so you would just have to follow him on his social media platform on TikTok with keith lee just type it in and everyone's talking about him on social media and his reviews and his impact on businesses and it's been good so far. I know Atlanta had their little controversy over there before he came to Houston, but Who cares? Houston wins, so right. that's all that matters. Always, <laughs> always. This is where it's at, yes. especially when it comes to the food scene. I, you know, working in news, you bounce around the country a lot, and I've had the opportunity, the privilege, really, to live in so many different cities. Mm -hmm. And I will say, and some of them, Philadelphia, amazing culinary scene, but I would say Houston is unmatched. We're very I, diverse. Yeah, in extremely our diverse. Food scene. Yeah. We have Chinatown, like we're very, yeah. very diverse. And I mean, we kind of like, he said, he said, we're just up there with New Orleans. So oh, wow. that's a big compliment. Okay, that's a huge compliment. <laughs> okay, Brittany Taylor, thank you so much for coming on the show. Remember, we want to hear from you. If you visit any of these restaurants yes. that Keith Lee has critiqued, please, please, please take photos, us. take photos, tag us, videos, to click to let us know what you think of the food and upload them. As Brittany just said, click to pins. Brittany, yes. thank you so thank much you. for coming on the show. Thank we you. do appreciate it. Okay.